Hello everybody, I wanted to give you a fairly quick tutorial on UV unwrapping. Um, this is just going to be a basic tutorial by using a cube here that we have in our scene. Roll it in our 3D view. And uh, even the basic thing at first was really difficult for me to kind of grasp. So I want to try to really take it slow with you and, and maybe tell you as many things as I can. And uh, I want to keep this under 10 minutes. So, um, so we got our default cube here and we have a light and a camera so I'm going to go ahead and right click on my light and I want to go ahead and duplicate that by hitting shift D and then I can just move that light around and to drop it wherever I want I just left click and now it's in place what that'll do is that'll give us a, a pretty good render when uh, we render this image so now that we have light on all sides and we can see everything what we're going to try to achieve is put in some wood planks on this t on this uh, cube and even maybe work on making it look a little bit more realistic than just dropping an image on it. So we're going to select our cube. The best way to do uh, work with the UV uh, unwrapping is to uh, select your object and then let's go down here and go into edit mode. Now I can use this box here to go into edit mode or I can use my tab key and toggle between object and edit tab and tab so it defaults to selecting everything when you're in the edit mode but well, we want to unselect everything so we're going to hit A A unselects everything hit it again and A selects everything and let's hit A and unselect everything it's much easier to work um, in, for, with UV uh, unwrapping to work in the edge mode so we're going to go down here and select the edge key uh, tab and we also want to work in visibility mode this button right here allows us to see through the cube and now we can select our edges and we're going to do that by holding shift and then right clicking on it so I'm going to click these edges right here click this edge and Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make these seams just like in your jeans. In your jeans, this is a place where uh, things are put together. Um, but for us, we're actually going to be taking it apart right there. So now we've got our edges selected. I want to come over here before we go any further. And this is kind of how I have my windows laid out. But I want to combine these two screens. We can take that by putting our cursor in this corner and pulling up like that. And we've combined the two screens. And now I'm going to come down here to this tab, and I want to change my UV, uh, my window to my UV image editor. And now we have this box. This is what it looks like. Now we go back over here to our cube. We still have our edges marked, but we have not actually made them seams yet. So we could do a couple things. Hot keys are are uh, really good to get used to. Uh, the hot key for this will be Control E, as in Edward. Uh, Control E brings you to uh, the, this edge mode or um, screen where you can have different selections for your edges and uh, one of those is mark seams well if you can't remember that you can also come down here to mesh go up to edges and once again we see mark seams now when we do this we see that the seams have become a dark orange that lets us know that they've been made seams where they're going to break apart now we want to unwrap this cube so that it's placed over here in the UV editor. We can do that with the hotkey of just U. U brings up the UV mapping and we want to unwrap. If you can't remember U, you can come back down to mesh, UV unwrap, and unwrap. Well, also over here you should already have defaulted um, you should already have defaulted a couple of these buttons here and one of them is going to be your UV unwrap so I'm going to hit that button and then hit UV unwrap and nothing happened well I don't know if this is a bug or not I, I think you just have to do this in the vertices mode that's the only thing I can find so I'd come back down here and change it to the vertices instead of the uh, edge bone. So when I change it to the vertices, I'm going to this time hit the U key. 
and I'm going to hit unwrap and now it unwraps in our UV image editor. Now the next thing we want to do is bring a picture in here or an image. So to do that we go down to images, hit open and let's search for our file. There's my image. I'm going to open that wood plank look and it comes in really large. You'll just have to scroll back uh, so you can see that within your window. And uh, you can see this is the what we're going to see within our cube now. Now we can jump back over here and go back to our object mode out of edit mode and go into object mode and we don't see anything. But now right over here to the right of the object mode has a button and um, has a couple different things. You got your wireframe, your solid which is what it's in right now, solid colors. And you also have textured. So when we click on textured now we can see that the box is covered with wood planks. Well, now let's go over here and render that and see what that actually looks like rendered out with our lighting and everything. So we hit image and we're back to our solid gray cube. Well that didn't quite work out so well for us did it? Well what we have to do is come over here to our materials tab and we see there's a materials here. I'm just going to go ahead and call it wood. Not necessarily have to do that. You can leave it at materials. You just have to remember what it is. Uh, it's not really going to affect anything right now. We're going to move over to our texture tab. We see there's already a texture applied and what we have to do is tell the U that uh, we need the UV um, to be mapped. So in our mapping section we go to generated and go up to UV. So now that we've done that let's go over back to our render tab and hit image and we still have a gray cube. Well, that's not good is it? One more thing we need to do back over here in our texture tab is go down to type and we have to load that image again. So go to image or movie. I'm going to go down and you'll see where you can actually load your image. So let's go open, go back and find our image again and there it is. We hit open and now if we go back to the render and look in the image, render the image, we can see that we have our wood planks on our cube. Now let's make that look a little bit more real. One thing I want to do is go into my materials tab. We'll see what it looks like as a flat image because cubes are kind of flat. You can look at it like that, but flat gives you a good idea of what the specular is looking like. I don't want it to look like it has shellac on the floor. I want it to look more like a wood grain. So we want to take the intensity of the specular down. We'll just take it to about one so it's not so shiny. Okay, now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go over to my uh, texture tab. And one more thing I'd like to do is come down to where it says influence in our texture tab. And we want to go down here to our normals and our geometry. Normals are um, a way that the geometry is affected depending on which way they're pointing. We won't get into that right now, but just know this will help you with your what we call bump map. And uh, I'm gonna, it's on one right now, it's not quite enough, so I'm going to bump that right on up to about three, somewhere in the three area. I'm going to go back up here. If you hit material, kind of see that there. Um, but it's not a, a, a good look, so let's go ahead and render it and see what it looks like rendered out. Well, there we have it. We have a wood block that looks like now it has a little bit of roughness to it. So that's what those normals do. It kind of gives you that look, uh, maybe a little bit of a grain look within the wood. And now you have a little bit more realistic bo uh, box that's made out of wood. Um, so there you have it. That's a simple basic UV unwrapping and how to attach a material or a texture to that through the UV editor.